performance today from Wolves. Lots of very good points. Only one or two negatives. So I'll start with all the good points and then we'll maybe come on to some of the negatives later. Starting at the back, I thought that we looked comfortable. The only real threat that they had today, Cardiff, was the long throw and from set pieces. And we managed to deal with that pretty well. The one negative from the back is Andy Lonergan who didn't have a great game. Flapping like a fish led to Cardiff's goal. And there were a couple of times where he didn't come for the ball inside the six yard box where if he did it would have just completely got rid of any pressure. Maybe it's because he hasn't played a lot of games this season and he's out of touch but he's still, he's played over 600 games in the, at championship level. He should be able to deal with a couple of crosses. But as he's not our number one goalkeeper it's not too much of an issue to be concerning us. Two full backs, Cody and Doherty, I thought played well. Doherty was, he, there was one moment in the second half which led to them hitting the post where he backed off and backed off too much, didn't really do anything to change the, the run of the attacker or anything like that. So that, that's a minor, minor thing. I thought majority of the game that we played well. Connor Cody as well at right back, he's made that position his own through this season. And it'd be interesting to see in the summer whether we go out to sign a new right back or just stick with him because he's done a perfectly fine job there. Midfield, I thought that Lee Evans and Dave Edwards had a fairly mixed game. Lee Evans had one really excellent pass in the first half, pinged it through towards uh, Vyman. There were a few balls after that from Evans that were just sort of like Hollywood passes, just aimlessly hitting it forward and it didn't quite come off. Dave Edwards, his usual self, running around a lot, putting a lot of tackles in, a lot of effort. The wingers and the attacking players made the difference today and to have players like we've got now, I think if we can keep hold of Costa and Cavaliero and Marshall and I think by Vyman, I think that's the, I think personally he's a good player at championship level and he could end up scoring between 10 and 15 goals next season with good opportunities provided by those wide players. And Marshall I thought had a, his best game for us so far, he seems to have trimmed down a little bit since the last time I saw him as well. Good on the ball, he's forward thinking, he, once he's got the ball he'll run with it which is great and it's something that we need as well. Vyman up front I thought had a really good game, he did a lot of running, a lot of hard yards he put in today. with. Very little reward. He didn't have many chances, but he was effective in moving the centre backs around and giving Cavalier and Costa the, the spaces out wide to get into. For a man of the match, it's quite a difficult one to choose because there was quite a few players who played well. I imagine that the official man of the match would have been Danny Bart for his two goals, which were taken very, very well. Particularly the second one was an excellent header, bullet header, and I love seeing goals like that. But I would like to choose. Andy Weimer for the effort he put in, but also Ben Marshall I think needs credit for the effort that he put in and the quality that he provided, he was really really good today. I'm looking forward now to the rest of the season and <laughs> it's frustrating because this sort of run of form now, four wins in a row, a sort of form where if we'd have been doing this in February we'd still be talking about the playoffs now and you know if we'd have only just picked up two or three more points in February, we wouldn't have been in that absolute pig trough that we were in. We could have been looking forward now to the rest of the season with a bit more excitement. But where we are now, I really am confident about us going forward. Now, finally, I just want to touch on Helder Costa's goal because from what I saw, it was absolute world class. We've got a player in Costa who is worth 20 million, 25 million, and there's no wonder that Chelsea and Arsenal and Monaco, top teams, are looking at him and thinking that they can, he can be an addition to those top teams, because he could be. But I really hope that he stays with us now over the summer and that we try and sell to him this long-term vision of becoming a top club or beco you know becoming a Premier League player, becoming a really key part. He could become a legend at, at our club if he can just, if he can stay, he can continue this great form that he's in. But the goal, it was like... It was like a goal that a top, you know, one of those legends like Messi had scored. It was just defenders flying everywhere. The goalkeeper was... It was mad. It's not a goal that a Wolves player has ever scored before. <laughs> because usually what would happen is the Wolves player would get into that position and either pass or he would fall over or he'd lose control of the ball or the shot would go wide. But that just proved to all of us that he is a cut above everybody else. Right, so just having a quick look at the table now, we are sitting in 16th place on 48 points with a game in hand over QPR who are just above us on 50 and we are 8 points ahead of Blackburn who sit in 22nd place and we also have a game in hand over them as well. So thank you for watching, don't forget to check back on Monday for a preview of the Nottingham Forest game on Tuesday and on Wednesday for a 
Wolves Wednesday video where I talk about what we need to do to improve next season. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.